Do not walk away from this person just yet. I'm seeing that you are getting ready to walk. Another way to actually interpret this reading, it's a five card pull. So we have the Queen of Wands and she comes up first and she's always about taking charge and taking that lead and being that inspiration and, and that fire that's burning. So she's always about taking charge and being the leader that you're hoping to find. So it's all about that confidence and that independent energy. And she is suggesting that you are considering taking charge of your love life and making decisions that align with your desires and your passions. And then you have the Nine of Cups that comes after in this reading. And the Nine of Cups is a wish card. He has all, like all nine cups and tens are always about completions. And if you notice, he looks very, very content in the card. So he's suggesting that your choice to walk away from the current relationship actually is the potential that you need to actually find contentment elsewhere and actually get what you want. So the fact that you're actually considering leaving this relationship that you're currently in or walking away from this person actually does lead to you actually getting your wish fulfilled for what it is that you're trying to acquire from this relationship that you're just not getting. And then you have the seven of cups and it's in reversed if you noticed. So the seven of cups is representing clarity and the ability to see through the illusions and the confusion that's happening in this relationship where you're no longer looking at it with these starry bright eyes. It's like you're cutting through all the illusions that have been basically keeping you where you're at and it no longer looks the same. So it's, it's suggesting you're gaining a better perspective on your romantic choices and you're more focused at this point in this relationship on what truly matters and what doesn't matter. And then you have the two of wands. And if you notice, he's looking out towards the future and he's at this crossroads and he's contemplating what steps to take next because there's the two and the two is always duality and it's always about being at that crossroads and needing that balance and deciding which direction we're going to go. So, I mean, if you're considering walking away, this is indicating that you are exploring other options and figuring out what actually truly matters to you, um, not just like hanging out. And then the Ten of Swords and it's reversed it's still signifying tens are always endings and even in the reverse position he's still signifying that it's over you're done you're mentally exhausted from it the current relationship is just it's falling apart at the seams everything that that allured you and got you into this relationship is starting to just crumble and you're starting to see through everything so it depends on what it is that you want and in this relationship that you're in, but from what I'm seeing, it's telling you to take charge of your own destiny and take charge of what it is that you want. You're waiting for the other person to take the lead. And the Queen of Wands is telling you, if you want things to change, it's up to you to change it. Stop waiting for them. You need to take the lead. You need to be the independent thinker. You're the one cutting through all the bullshit and actually seeing things for what they are. And if you actually start listening to your gut instinct and acknowledge the fact that what the way it was isn't working anymore and you're at a crossroads make a decision because what it is that you want is only several footsteps away from where it is that you are